Would our guests please take their seats? We have engaged in a very intense, extremely serious, and very specific negotiation with China on crucial structural issues for several months now. We are making real progress. If we can complete this effort, and again I say if, and can reach a satisfactory solution to, all, to the all-important outstanding issue of enforceability, as well as some other concerns, we might be able to have an agreement that helps us turn the corner in our economic relationship with China. Administration's tariffs have been sweeping, disruptive, controversial, and indeed for some sectors painful. The administration's promise is that high-risk protein... Let me be clear, much still needs to be done, both before an agreement is, is reached and, more importantly, after it is reached, if one is reached. I agree with those who see our large and growing trade deficit and their unfair trade practices, including technology transfer issues, failure to protect intellectual property, large subsidies, cyber theft of commercial secrets, and other problems as major threats to our economy. What the President wants is an agreement that, number one, is enforceable, but that changes the pattern of practice of forced technology transfer, intellectual property protection, large industrial policy subsidies, and then a whole variety of, of specific uh, impediments to, to trade and unfair practices in the area of agriculture, in the area of services. What we want is fair trade that requires structural change, and it has to be enforceable. We recognize the gentleman from California, Mr. Thompson. To thank acquire. you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for holding the hearing. Ambassador, thank you for being here. And thank you for your willingness to 